Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. It's still raining in downtown Papos, and over yonder, over all the rooftops, is well, I don't think it's that blue today, but normally it is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. We're in central Paphos and we're heading down towards Cape of Paphos to see how many lunatics there are perhaps walking up and down the Cape of Paphos, Bromacod and Arbery. And I've got a feeling there will be one or two because a little bit later on, guess what? Mr. Paul's going to go for a dismount. He's going to get an umbrella out and he's going to go and see what's going on, especially for you. So don't forget to keep coming back for the little bits of madness on the channel known as Marika and me. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe, and of course keep coming back because there's more and more madness coming to the little channel known as Marika and me. Because of course the most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin Gracinia Labouf, is coming back to Paphos very, very soon indeed. She's going to be getting on a big bird and jetting into Larnaca. I'm going to go and pick her up and of course the baby of the booth, Miss Ella, and she'll be appearing on camera very, very soon indeed. And you never know, she may even be paddle boarding in and around downtown Coral Bay, especially for you. A lot of surface water around as we can see, so let's drive nice and carefully and nice and slowly because we don't want to be skidding and entering into someone's rear end. No, not on a day like today. Don't really fancy standing at the roadside for two hours while we wait for the insurance to sort it all out and those kind of things. Paphos Mall is on the right hand side. The Pagona Garden Centre is on the left, looking a little bit glum. And that is the Paphos Mall roundabout. And look, right on cue, the sun is slowly starting to come through the greyness and you never know we might get a spectacality of a view indeed out across the blueness of the blue 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 mediterranean sea now notice there's more and more of these electric scooter little setups being scattered in and around Athos and these are the scooters you can go and download the app quite simple to do and of course pay for them by the hour and of course then you drop them off and send a picture so they know where it is but anyway the point of it is I was reading in the paper last night that in and around Nicosia that's the capital of Cyprus they've had enough of it so if you go and discard and just leave your scooter here there and everywhere they're going to be sticking them in the back of municipality vehicle and uh, taking them away so simple as that so please please be careful if you do hire one don't just abandon it anywhere or if you do well perhaps you might be going to get an infringement on your credit card so be aware of that when you hire them shall we say although in Paphos at the moment they are quite lax with them technically you're supposed to wear a crash helmet you're supposed to have a high-vis vest and you're only supposed to be traveling the 30 kilometer an hour zones but uh, the various policemen I've spoken to say in particular if you're a foreigner they're going to leave you alone and they're not really bothered about the crash helmets if you're that stupid enough to wear one and they're not really bothered about the high-vis vest so that's a good thing quite lax in Paphos. Downtown Kid of Paphos Harbour is slowly but surely starting to appear. Paphos Harbour roundabout is coming up and that's the, I can't say it, but there's an apartment complex above it, Pethidus Living, I don't know. Of course that's where the two superstars Baron Jeremy and Baron Simon booked in and they literally flipped from one apartment to the next apartment and then the next apartment and the next apartment because they're getting a better deal. But that's where they were staying and of course what better place to stay than on the cusp of the blueness of the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. This is downtown Cato Paphos Promenade and Harbour area on a rather damp and a rather drizzly and a rather cold day in the third week of January. But on a positive, it's probably warmer than where most of our viewers are watching from. So don't forget to keep coming back to the little channel known as Marika and me. Big shout out to some of those stars. If your name's Dayman in downtown Hartlepool, we're missing you like crazy. But of course May's coming and soon you will be back in downtown Paphos. This is the new small 
drop-off terminal for buses in the downtown Kedo Pampas Harbour. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to have opened yet. It hasn't gone online. The main terminal in the old town, that's gone online, but this one hasn't. And the one on the tomb of the King's Avenue, next door to T42, hasn't gone online yet either. Apparently there's some technicalities with the computer systems and those kind of things. So let's wish them luck and hopefully it'll all be online by the spring. There we are, there's a view out into the chopsy mopsiness of the blueness of the blue blue the blue blue Mediterranean Sea. Let's go for a look in and around the rear streets of the promenade area and see how the improvements are coming on. Although I don't think there'll be a lot of work going on today. Get a Paphos promenade. See, a couple of people with umbrellas. I'll be joining them soon, especially for you. There's Major Tito. He's looking a bit glum outside the harbour restaurant, but uh, I'm sure he's got a plan of how he's going to fill it up and get everyone to come in and have some din dins. So let's take a right and let's head into the rear streets of Paphos promenade and see what's going on. And as predicted, someone's coming the wrong way, but that's normal in Paphos, and there's someone else coming the wrong way. All these streets, by the way, are going to be coming one-way streets, so perhaps we should all get used to it now. And here's another vehicle that wants to come the wrong way. It'll take us a while, I suppose, to get used to it, because we do like to go whichever way we want to go in Cyprus, in particular in Paphos. Some of the pavements have been improved. The Basilica Resort is looking rather nice with Deborah O'Rourke and of course that man in her life, Mr Will. And they'll be coming back to Paphos, I'm no doubt, very, very soon indeed. This apartment complex is coming on nicely. There's the Sandwich Cafe, there's waiting to give you a special sandwich. And here's another pickup coming the wrong way with no seatbelts on, but there we go. These are the legalities in downtown Cyprus. Oh, they closed that road off today. Even though this road is a one way, we'll be going down it. There we go. And it looks as though they closed this road off as well. There we go. See, downtown Paphos, and it's complete and utter madness. There we go. So we'll have to turn around and go back. So that's why everyone is going the wrong way, now we know. Still, that's a nice view out across the slightly grey Mediterranean Sea today. There we go, fun and games in downtown Paphos. So now we're going the wrong way, down a wrong way street, especially for you. Like I say, all the streets around here are slightly but surely going to come one way streets. And now they've just opened that road up again. So now we can go up it. Craziness, isn't it? There we are. So they must have closed it off for some deliveries or something. Who knows? Anyway. Now we're going the right way, because as you see this road has been narrowed a bit because they're putting big pavements on both sides. And I was talking to a gentleman the other day actually, and he said, no, no, it's going to be a two-way. I said, no, have you not noticed the road's been narrowed a little bit? And he said, what difference does that make? I said, well, it means it won't be enough room for two cars to actually pass. And he said, well, I'm going to still go down that road, whichever way I want to go down. So, there we go. Welcome to Baffles. This now technically is Bar Street, by the way. A lot of people don't know this part is Bar Street, but all of this road here is Bar Street. We've got a takeaway there, most of it's closed, and a lot of it's getting rejuvenated slowly. And then a lot of people think that this is where Bar Street starts, which is where all the bars start, but it's not actually where Bar Street starts. Alkiona Taverna, very popular if your name's Mr. Craig and there's a Lisa in your life. Democritus Restaurant, apparently the oldest restaurant in the whole of Paphos. We've got uh, Flair's Bar coming up, very popular if your name's Lady Sally Byers and you're dreaming of being a Lady Dyers one of these days, you never know. That man called Mr. Matt Dyers might get a promotion when he buys that big diamond ring. So Bar Street on a rather damp and rather drizzly day. In fact, 
this time of year, Bar Street is a little bit drizzly all evening as well because there's not that many people dancing and prancing around here until around about, should we say, May. These buildings on the right hand side, slowly but surely, are going to be, should we say, renovated and improved and another floor put on top. And uh, hopefully, when that's done, course will transform Bar Street. Pentaris Rentals, that's coming up there. And uh, I was asked in the comments the other night what was my opinion of them. Good, honest people, decent cars. Andreas the boss, know him personally. He wouldn't knowingly rent you a bad car. And if it did break down, I'm pretty sure if you phone him up, he'll come and pick you up. That's for sure. Let's go and see what's going on down here, shall we? because this has been getting dug up now for a long, long time indeed. Finished the pavement on that side. And again, if you notice, it's a little bit narrow. So I think this is going to be one way. Well, that's what I've been told for Donis, the man in charge, has said all of Kedipathos is going to be a one-way system. So that's what's coming. So we're going to have to get used to it. It's as simple as that. Anyway, I'm going to go and find someone to park up, so don't forget to come back for the next little episode, because Mr. Paul is going to go and get his umbrella out and go for a dismount and perhaps show you what's going on in and around this particular part of Kedipathos. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe, and don't forget to keep coming back for a little bit more of our complete and utter madness, and don't forget to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. That's where you can gift us a virtual coffee or two as a thank you. And of course, we'll be coming to see you again very, very soon indeed. Thanks for watching.